Hello everyone. I was wondering if you'd like to see a flip through of the 2019 Daphne's Diary Planner. I know maybe for my Canadian friends, we don't get this here. Um, I had to slip over to Michigan to pick it up because I have yet to see the planner in our stores here in Canada, but you know, maybe I could be wrong. Maybe somebody can let me know if they've found them. Although, so I have not. But I just recently, this year, started finding the magazine. So maybe the planner's out there. I don't know. But I thought that I would do a little flip through for those of you who haven't seen it. Um, there's a pocket in the front and a pocket in the back. It has little stickers. Um, enjoy the summer. Do what makes you happy. You know, enjoy the day. Those kind of stickers. Actually, I should take that out. It comes with a little bookmark. I'm just going to pull that out so it's not in my way. Um, so in the front here we have name and address, calendar pages, um, just a little setup of explaining the setup of each month. And an overview of the year. We have a contact page. I love all the little images on the on the sides and the borders of all the pages. This one apparently has lots of coloring pages again, the same as the 2018 did. What I did notice with this one is um, it's filled with food, pictures of food. So every month there seems to be food, <laughs> potato soup. There, this one starts out actually at December 24th. So even if you were giving this as a gift, um, they could start using it right away because it starts on December 24th this year. It takes you straight through to January. So there's quite a bit of space there to jot down, do a little journaling, or just a what, daily to-do list or whatever. Here's the shopping list and to-do list. It's in a bullet style or dotted grid, however you want to call it. It is probably the only disappointment I have in this one, in this planner, is because in 2008, my 18 planner, which I love, and I mean, I have ripped out quite a bit of it, but I'm kind of hoarding it because the calendar pages in here, the colors are a little bit more me, and the to-do and shopping lists are corresponding to the month's images, so... It has the same border and then the bullet page on the back. And that's the way it is with all of them. Isn't that pretty? So I'm kind of hoarding my 2018 because it's, I just find the colors are a little brighter in this one and they're more me. And I didn't really notice that there was much food images in, in the 2018. Um, I think it can still have buy it on Daphne's Diary website. You can go and have it shipped to the... I think it's at a discount price. I think you can still get the 2018. If you're not using it for an actual planner, you could use it for crafting because these are gorgeous pages for crafters if you want to do collage. This one has a lot of whimsical little animals. Really cute bears. The pages on the edges are always you know, different color every month. So you've got a lot of different like patterns and stuff to work with. These are cactus. It's a nice deer. Um, like I said, the every month there seems to be some food images, healthy food, soups. But the only thing that they probably could have done is maybe given the recipe. <laughs> um, one thing I did like about this planner is they had these like old book page lined pages in each month. It's a nice spot to write or do some collaging. This one has a cute little deer, bear. I did notice this has a softer toned colors and each planner comes with four, four postcards. Bloom where you're planted, let's fly away. I say little postcards but I mean it's not like you're gonna mail them out but they're perforated. You can use them as um, a journaling card in a journal or, or um, a, a tag the gift tag. There's more of a 
food images again and then at the coloring pages. So I'd say that these there seem to be like a little bit more like hand drawn sort of images in this one. That's nice, the green. There's more food, summer smoothie. I won't go page by page, but I'll give you a, just... Mm, that looks good. Green smoothie. Yeah, they could include the recipes, like, that would have been nice. <laughs> and there's more stickers. It's probably shiny and it's probably not showing up right on the video, sorry about that. Watercolor images. And then I believe there's another set of postcards here, here you go. This one here has little birds, baby it's cold outside, and winter joy. These are the postcards for next December. And then again, that nice lined pages. And here's a really nice image. I mean, something like this could be fussy cut, put in a journal, wherever you're, do whatever, whatever your monthly journal would be. Apple pie. Like I said, it's super pretty, really pretty. It's focusing a lot this year on food, <laughs> but um, yeah. So anyway, I just wanted to show that, but I also wanted to let you know that I'm going to give this away. Carissa informed me today that we needed to do another giveaway, so I would like to give this away. So December 18th marks eight years anniversary of Carissa's diabetes, and that's she was diagnosed eight years ago, December 18th. So. She wanted to do a special giveaway to anybody who's interested in winning this. Just leave a comment, be a subscriber, you know, the routine. Um, just enter me, uh, whatever you want to say, just leave a comment. And on the 18th, I believe, let me see, December 18th, I gotta look at that. I might have ripped the page out. Did I rip the page out? No, uh, December 18th, it's so a Tuesday. So next Tuesday, um, Myself or Krissa will draw a winner for this planner. So if you'd like to win it, like I said, leave a comment, be a subscriber, all that, all that stuff. And I will check back again with you to choose the winner. All right. Take care. Hope you enjoyed this. Um, maybe you'll find it. Um, if you don't win it, maybe you, maybe you'll find it in a store near you. It is gorgeous and it is really fun to craft with. All right. Take care, guys.